right, students, so this is a video for you if you are trying to open up an assignment and it asks you to download Kami, which is an extension that maybe your teacher is trying to use to allow you to write on or uh, add text to a PDF. Okay, so this is all about Kami for students. So first thing, students, you want to make sure that you are logged in to your Google. Okay, you might see a, a blue sign in up here. Okay, but you can see that I'm logged into my account. Um, it's my first dot last name at stu.fayette.kyschools.us. So that's the first step. Make sure that you are logged in uh, to Google. Okay, the next step up here at this top bar, if you do not see the little cami icon that looks like this, it's like a purple K. If you do not see that, okay, these are the steps you have to follow first. So if we don't see that, here's where we go. We type into Google, uh, we're going to search for the Chrome Web Store. Okay, this is where we're going to actually go and download that app, or it's actually an extension. So I'm going to go to Chrome Web Store. And you see that's the first one that it pops up for me. So when I click that, It shows me as an FCPS student, okay? So I'm going to search the store for Kami, and you spell that K-A-M-I, Kami. So when I type in Kami and I press Enter, I see that this extension right here says Kami extension, PDF, and document annotation. That's the one that I want, okay? So I'm going to add to Chrome. Okay, and now it's going to ask you for a bunch of permissions. Okay, so it says add Kami extension. Yes, that's what I want to do. So I want to make sure I click the one that is in white that says add extension. All right, so it's going to check. It's going to do all these things. And it says that it has been added to Chrome. Okay. Now, you also have the ability to turn on sync. So, for example, if you're at home and you're using uh, your home computer, you might have to turn on sync. Okay, that's where it syncs your home computer with like what you've downloaded uh, or what the, our district has downloaded to your account. Okay, so you can turn that on. But for right now, I'm not going to worry about that. So, you can see up here, I now have my new Kami extension. If you see that, that's good news. Okay, you'll be able to actually complete your assignments. If you don't see that, make sure that it downloaded. Okay, now the first time you click on that, let me just go ahead and click on it. It might take me to a login page where I need to make sure that I am signed up and logged in with my Google. Okay, so all I have to do is click login with Google. All right, so nice and easy. When I click that, it's going to pull up a spot for me to type in my uh, email address and my password. Okay, again, that's your first name, dot last name, at stu.fayette.kyschools.us. So since I'm already logged into Google, it already pops up there, so I don't have to do any more typing. I just click my name. And then it's going to ask me if I want to allow all these steps. Okay. So if you notice, it allows me to use Kami in Classroom, and it allows me to have access to my documents in my drive. We want to make sure that we allow all of that. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. Okay, and this is safe because our, our district has approved it, so don't worry. I'm going to click the blue button that says Allow. All right, now these are the final steps. Uh, it might ask me to complete my sign-up. So what are we using Kami for? We are using it for a K-12 school. So no matter what grade you're in, uh, you're going to choose that first one. And then you are a student. So all you have to do is click student. And I'm all done. I'm finished. So I'm going to click finish. All right, it says welcome to Kami. I can just click continue and then I am done. Okay, that's how I set up my Kami extension. 
Now, if my teacher has posted something to me in Google Classroom, here's where you go to do that. Okay, so for example, let's say I go back to Google. All right, so here I am at Google. I'm gonna go to my classroom. So remember, you can get to classroom by going to your apps up here at your waffle. You can go that way, okay? Or you can also just do a search for Google Classroom and it's gonna pull up all of your different classes that you're enrolled in. If you're only enrolled in one, that's okay because that means that you only have one teacher. You have six, then that means you might have six different classes. But I'm gonna go to the classroom that I'm supposed to complete my work for, okay? So once I'm in here, when I go to class work, remember that's where we go to get all of our assignments. All right, I'm gonna go to the assignment that I'm supposed to do. So let's say it's boat design. When I click boat design, I open up my assignment. Now yours is gonna look different than mine, okay? Because your assignment probably doesn't say boat design. So I can either view it by clicking here, or I can click the actual PDF here. I'm just gonna view it so you can see the full thing. Okay, so my teacher has told me to complete the packet to start designing my boat. Great, and she has attached the PDF right here. Now, when I click that, it's going to open up my document, but if you notice, I can click, but I can't type or I can't draw anything. Okay, so here's your final step to make sure that you can open this properly. If you look at the top of my screen, so there's the assignment, this icon right here that has RK again, I have to open with Kami. If I do not open with Kami, I can't edit or make any changes. Okay, so make sure you click this purple button at the top that says open with Kami and then watch what happens. Again, I'm a student, good deal. Now, I have to authorize Google Drive, okay, that, that allows it to make sure that I keep everything saved in Google Drive. I might have to log in again, which is okay. All right, I'm gonna allow all of that. And you shouldn't have to do this with every assignment. It's just the very first time that you start working. Okay, so here I am. Now, from here, I can start adding any uh, annotation that I need to. So if I want to highlight something, I can go to Markup, and I can select something that I want to highlight. Okay, and my teacher will be able to see my changes. So I'm going to scroll down as I'm reading and do the actual activities that I'm supposed to do. So it looks like my teacher has written me a note. She says, type in each space your object prediction and what happened. So I'm gonna get a text box. And when I click text box, all I have to do is click where I wanna type. And maybe I tried a pencil. So I'm gonna type in pencil. Uh, I'm gonna click my prediction, so I still have text box selected. I'm gonna predict what I think the pencil is gonna do. I think the pencil will float, okay? And then I'm gonna do what actually happened. Uh, the pencil actually floated, so I was correct, okay? You can also add a drawing right here. If you would rather write, uh, with a, a pen instead of doing the text, just realize that it needs to be neat for your teacher. So maybe the next thing I tried was a pen. And you can see that my drawing word is not as great as my text, okay? I'm gonna predict that it floats, and so on. So I've got my tools over here. Once I'm done with my assignment, there is a button up here at the top right corner that says turn in. You see it, it says turn in with a little save button next to it. When I click that, it's gonna ask me if I'm finished with my assignment and I'm gonna click turn in, okay? Only do that if you're actually done. So 
So I'm going to turn it in. It's going to save. And I'm going to wait. Perfect. So now it says I'm done. If I realized I made a mistake and I didn't mean to turn it in, I can always click unsubmit. Okay. So that's all you have to do. If I want to go back over to classroom and check it just to make sure, I might come back to the boat design. So I already had the classroom open here. If you notice, I no longer have that turn in button because I already turned it in on Cami and that turned it in on Google Classroom. So I'm done. All right. But if you do need to get that back and, and do some editing or changes, you must unsubmit it first. OK, and then it'll let you. All right. Hopefully that was helpful for you and how to get started with Cami.